Welcome to the Quantum Collective. Hey, so I just wanted to record a quick video going through one of these um, calculations for um, a recipe because I, I went through the process and found it interesting. So I'm going to just go through it real quick. So the original question was how much sugar each pound of peaches would add to a batch. So I'm going to go through and I'm going to clear all this out real quick. Um, so the original batch was uh, two gallons and it had a gravity of 1.129. So I figured out that it was around 7.25 pounds of honey. That part wasn't really all that critical. I was just trying to get to this number right here. And for right now, I'm going to go ahead and reset this back to one just because it, I feel like that's probably the best, best way to go. So the alcohol that we were getting was around 17.27%. We wanted to know what would happen if we were adding peaches. Now, the thing with peaches is they tend to not, um, you tend to need a lot of them to get like the required amount of flavor. So I wanted to see how much sugar it would add if you were to add uh, starting with six pounds of peaches. So what I need to do is I need to make my total volume. I need to get rid of the honey so I can figure out how much it's adding because it's also going to add water. So it would have thrown off the reading. So I'm going to go ahead and set this to zero and set this to set the water to two gallons because that's how big the batch size was. And now if I put in my six pounds of peaches, it'll tell me how much gravity it's adding to the total volume and it'll tell me what the total volume is. So you can see my peaches are adding 0.69 nice gallons of water to the total volume and we're adding about 1.009 uh, uh, sugar. So now I want to go in and figure out what my actual ABV will be diluted down to. And the easiest way to do this is to just put that 1.009 right here, go back and put my 7.25 gallons of honey back in here and then change this back to 1.28 because that's what gets me to my original two gallons. And now you can see I have my 2.69 uh, batch volume again and it diluted it from 17% down to 12.76%. Um, now, six pounds of peaches for a two gallon batch might not be enough. So let's see what happens if I do 12 pounds of peaches. So again, I need to go back and change that to zero, change this to two. I'm back at uh, two gallons. Or, and now I change this to 12. And you can see I'm at 3.37 gallons. So I added 1.37 gallons to my total volume there. And then I'm at 1.014. And I'm going to go in and change this to 1.014. And now when I add my honey and stuff back in, I get 10%, 10.07% alcohol, and um, yeah, so I diluted it from 17% to 10%, and you can see why, because I added a ton of volume, but again, you're going to need that for peaches. Now, what I ended up suggesting um, is we bring this down a little bit, just because uh, the gravity that they're shooting for is uh, 1020. So I ended up suggesting that I, and I'm just going to go ahead and zero this out to show you what, um, what I ended up suggesting. So I suggested 10 pounds of peaches and three quarters of a pound of honey because that got me up to 1021, which is about what we were looking for. And now if I go back and add in my 7.25 pounds of honey, 1.28 gallons of water, change this to 1020, 
I'm at 10.6%, I'm at uh, 1020, and I have, you know, a stabilized peach mead with honey, um, with some extra honey. Now, the whole reason I went through this process is to, to show that, so the original mead was 17%, and if we're adding a bunch of water and peaches and stuff to it, um, we were going to dilute it past the point where it was actually going to need sorbate again and uh, that was just to sort of demonstrate that we were going to need sorbate again so my suggestion was that uh, we take whatever this final ABV is and use that to calculate our sorbate and sulfite so I got 3.22 gallons so I go into the other calculators uh, 3.22 gallons and then let's go with 50 because I, I like to do 50 for my stabilizing purposes and then 3.22 gallons at 10 percent so this is the actual amount i would add to the batch before i added my peaches and honey because this is what it's going to be once you add all of that extra stuff now if i were to go in and put my original numbers uh it was originally two gallons and it was originally 17 0.27 you see it says it's not even going to need sorbate it's 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 putting a negative number there and um if you didn't add sorbate and then you're diluting it down to 10 percent, it's gonna start re-fermenting so I, I i think the best approach here is to go with what's going to end up being your final volume in abv and go ahead and add in this 2.44 grams to your batch before you um, go ahead and change it. And the other thing is, I wanted to show that this, doing it in the calculator like I did it with the, you know, an ending gravity and all of that, is going to give you the same results as if you were to blend it. So, uh, as if you were to use a blending calculator. So I'm just going to go in and plug those numbers in here. So I'm going to go back over here and I'm going to see that I'm adding 1.44 or 1.4, 1.145 is probably what I would do. 1.145 gallons from my peaches plus 0.0. 747 gallons from my honey that's 1.1297 gallons that I'm uh, adding so I'm gonna go ahead and put that sorry wrong tab I'm gonna go ahead and put that right here which I already did as you can see um, my and then I'm gonna put uh, the alcohol of that stuff so the peaches don't have any alcohol in it and neither do the um neither does the honey and then I go in and put my 17.27 percent and my two gallons you see I'm getting 3.129 which is basically what my batch volume said and I'm getting 10.7 percent which is basically exactly the same as my 10.63 percent so you can do it either way you can go in and calculate the volume and do it that way or you can um, just make sure you're accounting um, for the FG and you can do it all on one page. But again, I thought that going through this recipe and this process would be informative to people. I hope you got something out of it. If you have any questions about how to use this calculator or anything else, please let me know. I'm always willing to go through and help people with calculations, but hopefully this helps some people to do some more stuff on their own. So thank you, bye.